Welcome everybody, it's Mike Marco speaking and today we're going to go over how to create those banners you see at the top of a lot of websites. Um, in this case here, I actually have a simple way of doing it. It's uh, using PowerPoint. It's fast. In fact, if you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to do it, in fact, if you, a lot of people already have uh, that from the Office package, Microsoft Office, um, on their computers. So it's relatively easy to do. And what I'm going to do here is, so this is, this is an example of, of a, a banner that I have cr that created a long time ago. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this kind of concept and create the same thing, and we'll show you how it's done. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do, in fact, let's go back here and just kind of give you guys a head start here. Uh, let's go back to this one right here. And first thing to do is if you have a banner, a lot of times uh, websites have a default. So let's go ahead and figure out what the default size is here. So I'm going to right click on it. And I want to do is I want to have the information, view the image information. So I right clicked on this. And here, let me give you what the screen says. It shows you the dimensions. And that's what I want. It's 960 by 265. Okay, so keep that in mind. So that's the size that we want. So what we're going to do here now is let's go over here. And I've already got the PowerPoint already formatted, but I'm going to show you how it's done. I go under Design, Page Setup, and under here you can see this is where I set the dimensions of the, of the actual page. So before we said it was 960, so I did 9.6 inches, and I did 265, so 2.65. That roughly equates about the same. So the uh, 960 is roughly about 9.6 inches, and the 265 is roughly 2.65 inches. So that way you can kind of keep track of the resolution. You don't want to create a, um, a banner that's really small and expand it out because you get really pixelated and doesn't look very good at all. Okay. So now that we have the size set, uh, the first thing I do is like to set the background. There's different ways you can set the background, but one of the easiest ways is go ahead and if, if you have if you use PowerPoint at all, it's pretty straightforward to go ahead and just create a text or create a block. So that's what we're gonna do here. Now we actually have a lot more control over what we want to do for the background. Uh, if you want to get kind of funny, um, more um, fancy with the different kind of images or different kind of effects, you can do like blending, shading, and all you know, kind of that whole um, uh, green looks if you want. But for now, we're going to keep it relatively simple. And I want to do is I'm going to have a black banner. Okay. And the outline I'm going to make is black. So there we go. There's our start. And now what I want to do is go ahead and create some text. So I'm going to do is make the font color start off with white and say, let's get here, let's make a new one for Brian and Mike. Prosperity. Tips. Okay. So let's go ahead and take that and what I'm going to do is um, select the whole box. Let's make it larger. So if you kind of hover over this, you can get a rough idea what the size is going to be. And let's choose this. Bolt's going to change it around a little bit. So there we go. And lots of room here. So there we go. We got the title. Okay. Now this is an example. It's the same one. I already grabbed an example so you can see how it's done. Sometimes because they had that that picture here. If you remember on the actual web on the actual website we're trying to do, it automatically pops in this image. Okay. So that's what you want to make sure you capture. You can leave some space. And kind of for that real estate where that picture is going to be. And that's what we're going to do over here. So that's where the space is here. And that's why I kept it for reference so I can see as we're going along what exactly I need to do to make sure it's going to work out. Okay, so we got this. Now I want to throw a picture in here. I like pictures. And I already pre found a picture that I want to use. And it's this one right here. I thought it was pretty cool. It goes really good on the black background. Basically, just do any kind of Google search and pick an image. So what I'm going to do is going to write and copy image. So I right-clicked it, copy image, and let's go ahead and paste it in here. Well, that's pretty big, so let's go ahead and shrink that down. So I'm going to do zoom out and shrink it down. Bring it back into uh, space here. Is a pretty big picture. So I'll go ahead and zoom back in. Let's choose something that's got to fit right in here a little better. Okay. 
Okay, so here we go. And let's bring this to the front. Right click on it, bring it to the front. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with formatting. What you want to do is kind of uh, finagle a little bit and, uh, and kind of get a, the effect that you want. But again, for this demonstration purpose, I'm going to keep it relatively simple. I want to go back to this. I'm going to keep just kind of simple steps here. So simple. The depth formula. Solution to a complicated. Because I like to use like to make this banner. I want to make it clickable. Okay. So now I have this here on a crap that text. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it and let's bring it over to our new banner. And go ahead and paste it. Now the font's not going to show up unless until I change it. So let's make it white. Let's make it bold so it stands out. Let's see, here's a little Y here, so let's narrow it down a bit. Font's a little small, so let's make it a little larger. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to do is throw a button in. I'm going to go here and let's go ahead and insert now the, the button that I want to use. And there we go. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. Probably want to do is try to find a button that's going to have a good background to it. But that will work good for now. I would suggest you do is go ahead and um, search the internet. You'll probably find a bunch of images that you can use for that um, without the background. Or we can do here in this case here. Let's zoom in. Remove background, key changes, done. I wasn't going to show you that today, but uh, I figure why not? And we can talk about that in a later, another later video exactly what I just did here. But that's good enough for now. Zoom back out. And there we go. Now, of course, you can play around and make it a little prettier if you, if you want. But you don't really have to. This is actually not a bad looking banner. I selected the whole thing, or you can go and and really that's what you want to do. Select the whole thing and do save as picture. Or I'm sure if you go in here under file and save as, this will do the same thing. And just say I want to save this whole thing as a PDF or JPEG. JPEG is probably better. Okay, name it, call it my banner, and you can hit save. And I just want to do the current slide only. Done. We just created a banner. I'm going to go ahead and call it up here under my documents. And see here. There we go. And I'm opening it up. And there's a banner we just created ready to drop right in to the website. Okay? That is how easy it is. It's not for complicated at all. And uh, took us, actually, look at the timer here, it took us 10 minutes. So you could pay someone to do this. You can probably go and to, uh, to some of those little sites that will do it, like uh, Warrior Forum. And, um, and and you have to pay five dollars for someone to do it, or you can do it yourself in ten minutes. And so you can customize it and change it around and get exactly what you want, and there's no guesswork. Okay, so that's it uh, for today, and I hope that was very informative. And good luck making your banners in the future. Have a great one. Take care. Bye.